The other thing I watched was One Day, which is... <gasps> I started that. Oh, did you? Oh, okay, great. So and then the I felt lit- kind of old, but oh, go for oh. it. Because, <laughs> you know, the first episodes are like basically college or like they're graduating yes. college. Yes. So One Day is a limited series. It's on Netflix. Mm-hmm. It's 14 episodes. They're not full hours. Most of no, them are right. in the 45-minute range, I would say. It was kind of a quick watch. It's initially set in, I think, 1990s. They're graduating from college. Right, that's what it feels like. It's like a Cambridge. Yeah. It's this young woman and man who are friends. They become friends right as they're graduating. Right. And then we follow them as their friendship kind of goes through its ups and downs and their life as as it goes through their ups and downs. Mm -hmm. The two main stars, I had not seen this woman before. She was very good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give a shot at her name. Ambika Maud. Or mode, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Hopefully that's close. And then Leo Woodall, who I'm sure most of us who saw mm-hmm. the most recent season of The White Lotus. Yes. He was friend of the the gay group. The evil gays. Yeah, the evil gays yeah. who were, you know, trying to... They're out to kill me. Yeah, out to maybe, possibly, These kill Jennifer Coolidge's yeah, character. Yeah. So he was fantastic in that and mm-hmm. kind of popped up on people's radar a little bit more. Like, all of a sudden, you're like, oh, who's this young man? Right. They are very young. And attractive. Yes. These British. This is very British. Yes. Show. This is a British show. Yes. Mm-hmm. It, I should have mentioned that, but when you said Cambridge, that was a good indication yeah. that it takes place in England. So the two of them become friends, sort of an unlikely friendship that yes. endures over time. And we check in with them on the same day in different years. So that's the one day thing. That's the gimmick. Yeah, that's the gimmick. I didn't know that it was based on a pretty well-known novel, (laughs) which, okay, so there was a book in 2009, Mm -hmm. which was very well received. And so it's based on that. There was also a movie in 2011 with Anne Hathaway and Jim Sturgis, which I don't recall at all, but uh, yeah, okay. So, but anyway... It, I don't think it matters, even if you read the book or... No, you don't need to. No, no, no. And also, I think this version of it, if you are a fan of the book or if you had seen the previous movie, this is a wonderful version of this mm-hmm. story. So mm-hmm. either as a newbie to the material or revisiting because you've seen it in the, these two other forms or know about it from these two other forms. One's a book and one's a movie. Anyway, it's really good. I mean, I enjoyed it a lot. There were some fun, light moments, also some heart-wrenching kind of stuff going on. Very slice-of-life approach. And that's on Netflix, right? That is on Netflix, right. yeah. Okay. 